So today I want to compare the specs on the new Nokia 3310 2017 edition versus the iPhone 7 Plus. Two phones that are mega popular and gonna so sell a lot 2017 this year. So let's just um, compare them spec wise. Which one is the best? First of all technology, both are GSM phones, very very nice. Uh, but on the iPhone 7 Plus you do get some more technologies. You do get CDMA, HSPA, EVDO and LTE speeds, which just means you can browse the internet faster. Very, very nice. Uh, if you look at net network, uh, you do have 2G bands, the GSM 900, 1800 uh, and also it looks like we might have a dual SIM variant on the 3310. Uh, we have 2G on the iPhone 7 Plus, but we also have 3G, 4G, and we have some nice speed here. HSPA, 42 megabits per second, very, very nice. LTEA, Cat9, 450 megabits. You know, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. Okay, uh, GPRS, both have phones, both have it. Edge, ooh, both have it. Uh, announced September the iPhone and now February here the new 3310 um, status this one is coming out the new 3310 is coming out now uh, in, a, in a few months probably because they got announced today uh, you can already buy the iPhone so that's very very nice dimensions ooh this one's a big one uh, if we look at uh, dimensions on the thickness side 12.8 millimeter thickness that is pretty fat that is pretty that's a pretty fat nokia uh the iphone 7.3 millimeters it's it's under one centimeter in thickness you can actually hold it in your hand that is very, very nice on the iphone uh weight hmm it looks like it's unknown on uh, the uh, new third 310 maybe it weights a kilo we don't know but it might i don't know maybe it's probably not. Probably under 200 grams, hopefully. Or under 300 grams, at least. Uh, 188 grams, I mean, the iPhone 7 Plus is pretty fat boy. Uh, if we take a look at SIM types. So, here's the thing. Uh, you do have um, mini SIM, it looks like. Single SIM. Mini SIM. Or on the dual SIM variant, it's going to be mini SIM also. Uh, on the new iPhone, you have these super tiny SIM cards called nano SIMs. So that's nice. Uh, you do have a flashlight on the 3310, can be really good to know there. Yeah, really good. Uh, you, you should have the IP68 67 certification on the iPhone 7 Plus, but I've tried it in Coca Cola, I tried it in water, and sometimes it have died. So it's not as good as Samsung's phone, like the Galaxy S7, um, is that one water system? I think so. But um, yeah. You don't know, it's like playing lottery. You know, you don't know what you're gonna get. It's probably gonna break, but we don't know. Uh, display, here's a big one. You, you get a TFT display. Might sound cool, but it's not year two, It's not the, the year 2000. So TFT display, it, you know, it's not gonna impress your friends. Uh, the iPhone 7 Plus have an LED backlit IPS LCD display. It's gonna impress your friends because they have 16 million colors. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, that is good. That is good to impress your friends. I think the TFT display only have like maybe 60k colors, maybe even less. Uh, yeah. Here's a big one that can be really good. If you don't like big screens, uh, the um, the new Nokia has a, has a 2.4 inch screen which can be very good, I mean 5.5 .5 inch, I mean it's like half the size, it's very very nice. Well I think actually this might be a um, third the size or something because it's like up and down in inches, I don't really know how that works but you know, it's big, the iPhone 7 Plus is big display but th this one is uh, smaller so you can see everything. Uh, or it's easier to see stuff because it's smaller, you have to move your eyes less. Uh, resolution, uh, you have 240 times 320 on the 3310. It does sound a bit like 2005, don't you think? Uh, on the um, iPhone 7 Plus, 1080p display, 400 pixels per inch. That is real good. Uh, it's not as bad, I mean, it's not under like 100 pixels per inch on the 3310. 167 is still pretty, pretty good. 
uh, yeah. But um, then you have some other things on the iPhone 7 Plus, which is really cool, like 3D touch display, display zoom, white color. I mean, there's some good things in there. Operating system, uh, I think it was like Series 30 or something, maybe Series 40 or Series S40, I don't know what it's called. But it is, um, it's not as fun operating system on the new 3310. It's pretty boring actually. iOS 10 is also pretty boring, I gotta say. You should probably go with Android and it, none of these phones runs Android, so that's a little bit lame. Uh, chipset, at least on the Apple we know, Apple A10 Fusion. Uh, chipset to run Snake on the 3310, I don't even think you need a chipset. Maybe you do, I don't know, but uh, it doesn't say. <laughs> and uh, yeah, CPU, we don't know <laughs> on this one. Uh, yeah, quad core, 2.3 gigahertz on the iPhone. And the GPU also on the iPhone Power VR Series 7 XT. It's very good stuff. Uh, at least if you like to play uh, Clash of Clans or whatever that game's called. You have actually a card slot on the 3310. So if you're into cards, this is very good. 32 gigabytes. Wow, you can have 30 gigab 32 gigabytes. You can probably store a lot of music albums on the 3310. Pretty good, decent. Um, you can only have 2,000 friends in 3310. It might you may have 5,000, so that that can be a problem. Uh, on the iPhone 7 Plus, very good. You can have it looks as I say practically unlimited. At least you know if you don't have like millions of friends, it's probably not going to be an issue. So that's very very nice. Um, let's see internal. 16 megabytes on the 3310. I mean, hey, it, as long as it can run Snake, I guess that's, that's good for Nokia. Uh, you have 32 or 128 or 256 gigabytes variants on the 7 Plus. It's very f random how they remove the 64 gigabyte variant. The RAM, 3 gigabytes. I mean, that is, that is good. Camera, 2 megapixels on the 3310. 12 megapixels on the um the uh the iphone 7 plus the iphone 7 plus comes you know you can download the instagram stuff like that so you can actually upload stuff there uh but you probably won't get an instagram app on the um 3310 new one so that kind of sucks you do have video mode here but um, i don't think you're gonna have like uh, full movies i'm not sure maybe you can store full movies on the new 3310 maybe you can or I mean, oh yeah, this is, this, is, this is just the camera, I don't mean video as in uh, watching, but this one, the 3310 has a video mode, that's, that's nice. Uh, but it doesn't have like 2160p at 30 frames per second, or 1080p recording at even 120 frames per second, or 720p at 240 frames per second. That is a lot of frames. If you want to like, if someone is running, you say Bolt runs, and you need that, you probably want the 720p then, because 240 frames per second, that's going to capture it perfectly you know you don't get a secondary camera on the 3310 you do have a 7 megapixel one on the iphone so that's very, very nice alert type both have vibration uh but you do have mp3 ringtones on the 3310 here you have uh, proprietary ringtones uh, loud speaker you have stereo speaker here that's very very classy on the iphone 7 uh, yeah it's very nice Loud speaker on also on the 3310 can be nice. You have a 3. Point, this this one can be a big one. 3.5 millimeter jack on the uh, 3310, so you don't need to buy an adapter or a weird thing. And with Apple, you need you need to use like a secondary cable, like an adapter. Like it's like you have like a computer from 2005. It's really really lame. Um, uh, VLAN. No, on the 3310, you don't have intranet, or, I mean, you do have if you have a SIM card, probably, but you don't have, like, a Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, we have Wi-Fi on the iPhone 7 Plus, so. 802.11, A-B-G-N-A-C, dual band, hotspot also, hotspot is very, very nice, so you can share your internet, Bluetooth, you only have version 3.0 on the new Nokia. It didn't get 4.2, no, it didn't get it. But you do get 4.0 Bluetooth on the uh, the uh, iPhone 7 Plus. I think Bluetooth 5 is gonna come soon. 
on some new phone. I think I heard it in a rumor, and it should be like way better. I think at least it was uh, Bluetooth 5, and not Bluetooth 4.2. That would be this new version. Uh, you, um, you do an FM radio. You do have a radio on the 3310, which is cool. If you don't use YouTube, Facebook, or Twitter, you use a radio. Radio is one of those things that they used a lot in the 1950s. Uh, but maybe you still are into radio. Then you do have an FM radio on the 3310. It can be very useful. You don't have an FM radio on the iPhone 7, but you do have Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat. Uh, sensors, you do have fingerprint sensors, very, very good. If you want to scan your finger, like Skynet stuff, you do have that on the iPhone 7, very, very nice. Accelerometers, even gyroscopes, proximity sensors, compass, barometer, you do have so many sensors on the iPhone 7 Plus. Um, I don't think uh, you have any, it doesn't look like you're going to have any sensors on the new Nokia. Uh, messaging, SMS. You do have SMS, you can send messages. And you do also have SMS on the iPhone 7 Plus, but you also have iMessage. Apple call everything their own, they use, they put an I in front of it. So iMessage, uh, yeah, I guess it's like SMS, but just with more emojis and things like that. And you also have MMS. I'm not sure, I don't think you can send a picture on the new 3310, that's, that's a bit sad actually, because everyone likes pictures these days. And email and push emails. Okay, nice. You do have a browser here, a, a VAP 2.0, very, very nice. Uh, but you do have a new, new HTML5 with Apple Safari browser in the iPhone, and that's that can be a bit nicer actually because a lot of people use HTML5 these days to make more nicer websites. Uh, Java, no, no, it doesn't look like it. Removable battery. So the iPhone has 2,900 milliamps very big but then again it has a display that draws a lot uh, of power uh, you have a 1200 milliamp battery on the new 3310 yes it sounds slow but then again remember you're not gonna run crisis on the 3310 you're just gonna run snake so I believe it's gonna be really good uh, music play this is pretty funny it looks like actually music play might be better on the iPhone 7 plus uh, talk time just one more hour than the, than the iPhone. Okay, that's interesting. Standby, 744 hours. Uh, this is way better. Okay, standby, it wins. Um, <laughs> price group, uh, the iPhone 7, 9 out of 10. It's extremely expensive. Uh, price group on the 3310 is 1 out of 10. That means it's really, really, uh, really, really cheap. And it comes in cool colors. Uh, so yeah, just a quickly a bit of comparing them in the uh, specs. Hopefully you did enjoy. And you can definitely let me know which one you're gonna buy in 2017. Maybe you're gonna buy one of these, maybe you're gonna buy any other phone. I don't know. But now you at least know. If, if you was considering either the iPhone 7 or the 3310, it's, it's good, you know, to take all of these things I said in this video into consideration to to see you know what, what, what your final uh, your final decision will be so yeah quick video talking about that hopefully you enjoyed have a great time